Can a Bloody Mary, which is vodka with tomato juice, a non-sugary mixer, give the best result in the series? Let's find out. Today I'm having 60 ml vodka with 120 ml Bloody Mary mix and in total this drink should be about 185 calories. Now mixers tend to be sweet whether it's coke, tonic or even coconut water. So let's hope for a good result. My god that's spicy. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 16 mg spike and a 10 mg crash. This is actually a very good result, relatively speaking. But before we analyze, I have to say that the negative symptoms of having alcohol, like a headache and hunger and so on, were the least when I had vodka with a Bloody Mary mix. But we'll come to this later. This result was better than tonic, orange juice, ginger ale, mango chili mix, and of course, Coke, where the initial spike was 32 mg, double of this, and the crash was 21 mg, also double of this. In fact, the crash was even lower than when I had vodka with soda, where the crash was minus 13 mg, this was minus 10, lower. And that's why I think I felt the best or at least the least worst when I had a Bloody Mary because my blood sugar crashed the least. And this probably happened because Bloody Mary had the most amount of fiber across all the drinks I've tried till now because of the tomato juice. 